Welcome to my YouTube channel. <clears throat> Today we will discuss uh, uh, differential and batch distillation. Differential or batch distillation. So as many of you know, in distillation, you can have uh, two kinds of operation. Continuous operation, where there is a continuous feed of liquid mixture to the steel, and there is a continuous withdrawal uh, product from the top. And you can also have batch process, where a whole batch of feed is added in a distillation column or in a distillation steel, and it is supplied continuously through a steam or any uh, boiler. So as you can see here, you have here a distillation steel, so you have a liquid mixture, so heat is continuously added uh, to the system. So as the mixture starts to boil, here as the mixture starts to boil, then it generates a vapor. The vapor will be generated and this vapor will be richer in a more volatile uh, component. At the same time, the liquid component, the volatile component in the liquid decreases, or the amount of liquid in the steel will uh, become steadily weaker. So the top product or distillate can be collected in a receiver here. The composition of the uh, distillate uh, collected varies with time. So the condensate, which will be richer in the more volatile component, uh, will be rich at the beginning, but decrease as more condensate keeps accumulating. So therefore, the distillate collected in the receiver can be collected in several separate batches. So this, the distillate that is collected in a several uh, separate portion is called cut. So the batch process, as you can see, is a dynamic process because the composition is continuously changed. So it's not a steady state process. So you can also use this uh, batch distillation with reflex that means some amount of the uh, received distillate will be recycled back to the steel and some will be removed or as this picture represents you can use it as without reflex in this section here we are going to discuss batch distillation without reflex here when it's a uh, batch distillation without reflex then you are going to assume that there is a vapor liquid equilibrium in the liquid vapor mixture so that means without reflex uh, equilibrium may not be reached but in this case we are going to assume the vapor is in equilibrium with the liquid so most, most of the time batch liquid is applicable where the capacity is small where you have, if you have a plant with small capacity or if you want to make a, a test run for a given distillation process if you want to have a simple test you can use batch distillation and if you want to have a product with different purity or quality, then batch distillation is used. For example, if you want to have a water ethanol mixture with different composition, then it's better to use batch distillation because if you want to have a product with different quality or purity, uh, batch distillation is uh, suggested. For a batch distillation, the theoretical analysis of batch distillation is based on a differential mass balance. Since the, the uh, composition is changing through time, you will need a differential mass balance. So if you assume L to be the number of moles or the amount of liquid in the steel having a mole fraction of X in the more volatile component of the more volatile component, and D, the moles of accumulated condensate having a concentration of equilibrium vapor Y. So L is the liquid in the steel, the amount of liquid in the steel, and D is the distillate accumulated through time. So each have their own composition. So X will be the mole fraction in the liquid, and Y will be the equilibrium buffer concentration in the distillate. So over a small time, the change in amount of liquid is in the steel is DL, and the vapor is drawn will be DT. That means as soon as uh, the liquid starts to vapor the amount of liquid will change and this change is represented as dn and the amount of vapor collected or distillate collected will change so it's represented as dd the total material balance will be minus dl is equal to dd that means the liquid amount that is uh, evaporated will be equal to the vapor withdrawn in the distillate so which is which was this negative sign shows there is, there is a decrease in the amount of liquid. So if you make a component balance on component A, then you'll find DD times LX will be Y times DD, where Y star means the equilibrium vapor concentration. So if you rearrange 
this equation component to balance then this minus dlx will be expressed as minus l dx minus x dl which is equal to y times dd so you can also represent since dd is equal to here it's pressed it's expressed as dd is equal to minus dl so you can put this dd using by dl represent uh, replace dd by dl so finally after rearranging you will find this equation so dl over l is equal to dx over vapor concentration minus uh, liquid concentration or liquid mole fraction so if you have a distillation a batch distillation with the feed contains f moles of feed and this feed contains xf amount of mole fraction the amount of liquid reduced to w after some point with the mole fraction of the more volatile component reduced to xw then when you integrate this equation by using this scenario then you will find so that the liquid amount initially it was f then at some point it was reduced to w and the mole fraction of the feed initially it was xf then it's finally reduced to xw so after you integrate this equation you'll find uh, this equation so this is called Rayleigh's equation so based on Rayleigh's equation you can by plotting if you have the equilibrium data or the equilibrium concentration data x ver xy data then you can plot x versus 1 over y minus x and you can determine the required amount so, so you can also simply use if you have if you don't have the x y data if the relative volatility is given then if the relative volatility is constant relation between x and y will be represented by this equation so here y is related with x by using the relative volatility so alpha x over 1 plus alpha minus 1 times x means equilibrium vapor concentration y so if you have the relative volatility volatility which is constant then you can find you can simplify this equation into this and finally you will find this equation or you can just use uh, simplification to simplify this equation into so this will be the general equation for uh, batch distillation without reflux so with reflux based on the reflux type if it is constant or varying reflux then it has its own uh, scenario of calculation so next time we will see the fractional